Good morning. Hi. We're on a yacht. Good morning from the Ritz Carlton at Brema, Ritz Carlton's first hotel at sea. Uh, we're in the Atlantic Ocean, but internet is amazingly good. And so we're going to catch up. I need to hear what you did for your spring break. Remember, we talked about it. And I'll update you on what I'm doing for my spring break. And maybe we'll get an update from Connie Perry. Hi, I'm on my spring break. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Good morning, MH Knows. Good morning, Marcia Taylor. Good morning, Level Up Single Mom. Good morning, KD. Good morning, LA Teacher One. Good morning, Clarice, who is Mocamoiselle in Jamaica. Good morning, Eleanor. Good morning, Shauna. Good morning, Third Eye Nation and Maya or Mia. Maya, Jessica. Hi, friends. How's everybody? How's everyone? Everybody doing good? Okay, good morning. Good morning, LaShonda, Anita, Sparkling Jewel. You know the rules. You have to say good morning. Okay, while you're typing good morning, let me show you the uh, view. Ah, let me show you the view. Let's see how much of it you can see. Maybe I need to stand up. How's that? Okay, that's all there is. <laughs> that's the whole view. That's the whole view. It's beautiful. We are on our second full day at sea. We we left Bermuda. We left Hamilton, Bermuda. We left late. We were supposed to leave on Thursday evening. We didn't leave until Friday morning because of weather, because of high winds. Uh, but we're floating in the ocean, hanging out, and this is our spring break. We talked on this channel a couple of different times. First, I think the very beginning of the year, we talked about some things that we're not going to do, right? Some things that black women are not going to do in 2024, as decided by me. And one of those things was putting off the things that we dreamed of doing, even vacations, right? One of the things we said we were not going to do was putting off the travel and the vacations and the trips and the journeys and the experiences that we want to have for some magic number living, putting it off until something, until your honeymoon, put it off until you're 65, put it off until some magic number. Uh, so we're, this is an example of that. Rashida, who's here on the boat with me, Rashida, her mom, her godmom are also here. Uh, Rashida, this was Rashida's dream. This, this trip, this boat was Rashida's dream. And she happened to tell it to me out loud, which is a thing that happened. She said it out loud and boom, if it didn't come true, um, pretty quickly, <laughs> much more, much sooner than she had expected. I forgot to ask you about the sound. Can you hear me? Or do you want me to um, go inside? If the waves are too loud, let me know. Um, I did a test and it sounded fine to me, but let me know. Uh, yeah, because like we can just sit in there. Uh, yeah, so that's the thing that happened. It's a thing that she envisioned. And you know me, like Rashida is my luxury mentor. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's my luxury things mentor. And when she said she wanted to do it, I looked it up and I was like, oh, we do. We want to go too, right? Me and Connie Perry want to go too. Um, and it is happening right now, but it's a thing that could have been, the seagulls flying over. It could, it could have been, uh, well, one day I would like to, or on my honeymoon, because this would be an amazing honeymoon yacht, because there's a, it's a small yacht. We only have 170 people on board. Or small small crews, they call it a yacht. 170 people on board, and they're on this ship. There are two owners' cabins that have a private jacuzzi, and it's they're stunning. If you go to Ritz Carlton Yacht Collection and look at the Ivrima, the owners' cabins are stunning. So she could have been like, "Oh, this is this would be an amazing honeymoon," and then just left it there. I don't. I'm not a fan of magic number living. Um, and so I appreciate her saying out loud what she wanted. I appreciate her letting me and Connie Perry jump on this trip with her. <laughs> um, and I appreciate that this is a thing that we're doing in 2024 and beyond. We're not putting off the things that we want for some magic number. There's a difference between I want to do it and it's just not going to work for me now. And I want to do it, but I need to save it for, save it for a man, save it for an age Save it for whatever. Uh, we're not doing that. So first, that the, that's the first time that, that we talked this year about this this kind of thing. 
We also talked just a few weeks ago about taking your own spring break, taking an adult spring break, taking time to have fun, right? So I guess this is our spring break. It's the month of Connie. April is the month of Connie. Yes. So we're uh, celebrating, we're, we're spending, we're doing travel all month. We're traveling all month. Uh, but this is the beginning. And so I guess this is our spring break. And that's what we decided. <laughs> and that's what we're doing. Yeah, I, th I, call, I call it magic number living. When you're just like, when I'm this age. We start at very young. You know, the 20-year-olds are all about the before I'm 30, I want this, this, that. Before 25. Before 25, 20 kids, 20 somethings, teens and 20 somethings act like life is over at 25. Just ridiculously stupid. <laughs> 20 year olds are so stupid. <laughs> they be like, oh, I'm 25 and I don't have this and I don't have that. Like, girl, have you never met a 50 year old? Have you never met an 80 year old? Life keeps going. If you keep living, you keep getting older. You don't need to have X, Y, Z done at 25, okay? Anyway, magic number living. That's what I call it. I don't like it. I try my hardest not to do it anymore because I, I used to try to hold off until 65. I used to think that I had to wait until 65 and then I would get to live my own life. And then I was like, oh, no, I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want mine now. Thank you. So that's what we're doing. Okay, so give me your updates on your spring break. Everybody, did you all get a chance to say good morning? Did you all get a chance to follow the rules? Okay. And, okay. Let's talk about your spring breaks. How, how are things for you? Did anybody take some time off after we talked a few weeks ago? Anybody take any time off and do something? Picky said, so awesome and amazing when a dream comes true. Doesn't turn out to be a nightmare. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Because some of the things we dream about when we get them, we're like, ugh, if I had known... If I had known how terrible this was going to be, I wouldn't have wasted all my time dreaming on it. Yeah. Go ahead and update us if anybody took a spring break. Thank you for the hair compliments. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, I've been doing my hair every night, retwisting it every night so I can look cute on this boat. <laughs> mm -hmm. So my pictures look good. Thank you for the super chat, Venus. Yeah, I've been putting some effort into my hair. Right? I want my pictures to look good. <laughs> this is photo opportunity after photo opportunity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. The, um, the rest of the gang is headed to handbag painting at one. We had Sudoku, a Sudoku time challenge at 11. I lost again, and I lost to Rashida's mom again. The senior citizens are beating me at everything on this boat. They beat me at Sudoku. And I used to do that all every day. I kind of, I'm really out of practice. It's probably been 10 years since I've done Sudoku every day because I haven't had a job in, since 2015. Yeah, so it's been almost 10 years. Uh, so I haven't done a, a puzzle since then, I don't think. I'm super out of practice, but Herman Dow, her style, her, whatever her method is, I would never win. I have no chance. <laughs> but we're going to keep going. I think we do it again tomorrow, 1030, 1030 our time. I think there's one every day until they crown the real winner. So far, she's the queen. Uh, they're beating me at that. We had macrame, macrame 101. Uh, the senior citizens beat me at that. First of all, I was at the table with two Aries who have to get things right and follow the directions and, you know, win competitive and so they uh theirs came out much better than mine because mine looks like this <laughs> i stopped following instructions because i am a go with the flow cancer and i did not follow the instructions because i didn't understand them and i just did what i just made knots and <laughs> i made this but um rashida's godmom Marilyn, hers looked better than the demo Right, her the keychain that she made looked better than the demo. It's her birthday. Her she just had a birthday, and Connie Perry's birthday is coming up. So the Aries were very good. They are winning at things on this boat. But you know what? I participated. <laughs> I participated. <laughs> you have to hold it and weigh it down for it to look like anything decent. 
but I participated. All right. Okay. Okay, friends. Aileen Brown says, no spring break schedule just yet. Keeping my eye open for something to pique my interest. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Do something. Take some time. Hopefully before summer. Take some time where you can do what you want to do for a set amount of time. It could be a day. Right? It could be a week. Um, sometimes when we're working on some big thing, some big goal like a sabbatical or like early retirement or regular retirement or something... We put off the good stuff in the meantime. But I don't think you have to do that. I don't think you do. Even when I was saving that $14,000 to take my year off of work in 2015, I still went on vacation. We went to Los Angeles, Southern California with my mom and my dad. Now, I, I ain't had a lot of money, okay? <laughs> I didn't have much money, but it was within my budget. Uh, yeah, I think we still want to keep doing things. Because putting off and putting off is just a recipe for regret. Linda Husser is a life coach, particularly for black women over 50. And she talks about regret proofing your life. Uh, and I think the lack, of, not the lack of regret, but like the being able to set yourself up to not add to the pile of regrets. I think that's one of the keys to happiness and to peace. And joy, I think. When we keep adding to the pile of... Everybody's got regrets. Everybody's got regrets. But being able to position yourself so that you don't keep adding to that pile, I think there's, there's, there's good there. There's good stuff there. So hopefully, Aileen, you'll be able to take some time, carve it, at, carve it out, and do something that you hadn't planned to do, but something that you want to do that's not anybody else's priority or like nobody else nobody else gets a gets to hijack that from you oh wait how are y'all doing we've had a lot of stuff happen in the u.s y'all doing okay y'all had an earthquake we had a bridge collapse a lot of stuff happened since the last time i saw y'all everybody doing good okay. there's a mimi says there's a metaphor child free with mimi says there's a metaphor for life in there somewhere in, in the, in the, <laughs> I think you're talking about the macrame. Yeah, there's a lesson to be learned. <laughs> after, not after understanding that I was not going to understand the real instructions, I just took off. I'm like, I'm just going to make not after not after not, right? Keep making progress. And they were like, oh, Stephanie. I was like, no, don't look close. I'm not doing it right, right? I got a, a hole in the middle that's not supposed to be there. <laughs> The two sides were not connected properly. Uh, all of this is a mess. I'm like, don't don't look too close, okay? This is done. This is not perfect. It's just done. <laughs> Meanwhile, the Aries were like, come over here. <laughs> Give me private instruction one more time. Tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. Theirs came out much better, but it took longer. I'll say that. Theirs took longer, and they were more stressed out than I was. Okay? I think I walked away with more. I had more fun making mine. Maybe. Do you think I had more fun? You did. I did have more fun. I kept saying, you don't, don't stress out. <laughs> Just make something. She gave lectures. <laughs> there was less than ten, probably eight of us around the table, eight people around the table. I was like, just make knots and have fun. People were very frustrated. <laughs> yes, yes, okay. Yoga, yoga Latin, yogi Latin, hi. I am going on my 20 day tour. Oh, where are you going? Congratulations. Where are you going? Survive anything 84. My birthday is Tuesday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yes, I got a participation trophy for every event that we've done on this boat. Tonight is Latin dancing. I'm also going to get a participation trophy for that. I'm not winning that. I do have on a cute dress, though, that's going to swing nicely. But no, <laughs> I'm not going to win dancing either. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, Survive Anything 84 is going to Puerto Rico next month. Wonderful. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy that warm uh, ocean, the warm Caribbean water. Good, good. Yeah, Goshan says I can use it as a bookmark. Yeah. I think over time I could just flatten it out. <laughs> Lay it down and maybe flatten it out a little bit or something. Yeah, I think once I flatten it out, I could use it as something. Right now, it's too lumpy. <laughs> it's too lumpy. <laughs> but I think if I could get it flattened out a little bit, it could be it could be used for something. I don't have keys. One day I'll need to get some keys. <laughs> I don't have any keys to use it as a keychain. It's got a little key ring on it, but I don't have any keys. Because <laughs> she's homeless. <laughs> but one day if I get some keys I'll use it hang that on hang some keys on there thank you thank you let me get up in it look oh, look, look, uh, uh, look at the light look at the light <laughs> thank you I'm grateful that we have good weather we left a day later half a day later and so we should have a good uh he said we should have a good a good trip, good ten days on the water. So I'm glad about that. Jermaine says I agree. People put things off and then they get sick and die. That's right. That's right. Do it. Do it now. Carol O. I took a spring break, enjoyed spa treatments. Good. I'm being strategic with my travel by going where I may want to live long term. Good. Scouting some places out. I'm still figuring out my next place to scout out in the summer. Okay. Wonderful. Good, good, good. Yeah. I'm kind of trying to use this as like a, not like a health resort, but like kind of like a, health, a wellness spa week, two week and a half. So I've been eating pretty good breakfast. Although today I did order pancakes. This is the first time since. No, I had banana bread for breakfast when we got to Bermuda. Anyway, I've been trying to eat better food and move around. I went to the gym. I, the first day we took off, I launched, set sail. The first day we set sail, I went to the gym, got on the treadmill. Uh, I forgot how wobbly it would be, but I did it. Yeah, I'm trying to use this as a some health time. Libria Jones, I saw in Libria's story, Libria Jones on Instagram said she had some work, some blood work done and they told her she was vitamin D deficient. So I'm like, I can, listen, I can solve that for me just by sitting out here. <laughs> I can soak in the vitamin D. Uh, yeah. Michelle Barrage, you heard about the earthquake? I did. It was fun to me. Okay. <laughs> Okay, yeah, it was like a 4.8. I don't think that was a big one. Probably no damage. I didn't see anything about any damage. In fact, on Twitter, the only thing I saw was some, some. there was a, a, a meme that was like, we will rebuild. And there was just a lawn chair laying over on its side. <laughs> the earthquake damage was that the lawn chair fell over. Uh, yeah, so I guess it wasn't, um, you know. Any, anything major. Chocorette, when I returned from my spring break, I was supposed to put in two weeks notice. Okay, but I talked myself out of it and will try to hang in there until the end of May. I drive a school bus. Okay. Yeah, if you want to finish the school year, finish the school year, right? If the problem, if the concern is that you just don't, you're just afraid, you're just nervous, it's, it's always scary. Uh, well, no, actually. I've quit many jobs and it hasn't been that scary. But the, <laughs> the time that I, the job that I left to go on my sabbatical, it was scary. And I didn't give my two weeks notice the day I was, or I wanted to give, I think, four weeks notice because they did the schedule ahead of time. We worked night shift in the pharmacy in the hospital. And I think I gave four or five weeks notice and I knew they were going to have the schedule done on X day. So I wanted to give notice before that so that they could rework the schedule. You know, And I didn't do it that day, even though I quit many a job. I didn't do it that day, and then my supervisor didn't work nights. I worked night shift, but my supervisor didn't work nights. And so then I had to come in another day, come in early, the, either the next day or a couple of days later to give it to him. So if it's just nervousness, just do it. You, it's okay. You can still be nervous and still do it. 
But if it's like, oh, you know, I think it would be a better plan if I finish the school year and finish May, that's fine. That's fine. It's okay. We all do that. We all, you know, re re reevaluate our plans, but we all fear fear too. Captain's making an announcement. Let's see. That's okay. A very good afternoon, everyone. Uh, Captain Darren speaking. Uh, from the navigational bridge. Let's turn this. Well, another uh, beautiful day here in the uh, North Atlantic. Uh, sunrise was uh, gorgeous this morning. Uh, right now we have uh, winds out of the southwest at about 14 knots. Seas are around three meters southwesterly swell. And for the most part, uh, clear skies. Temperature on deck right now 20 degrees Celsius or 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Talking to a general manager, Dennis, today. Um, all the upper decks are set up, and uh, it should be a really lovely day here at sea. We still have uh, 1,387 nautical miles to uh, cover for uh, Horta uh, in the Azores on the 10th of April, and uh, we are um, speed required uh, to make the uh, Horta on time is 15.4 knots, and uh, we've been running speed here since we left uh, Bermuda, and uh, we are making uh, the speed at this point 15.4 knots, so that's uh, good news at this point, but I'll keep you updated uh, day by day on how we're making out. Now yesterday um, <clears throat> I was on the upper deck and uh, uh, talking to a number of ladies and gentlemen and I, I spotted a whale. Still trying to determine what it was, but I think it was uh, either a a say a whale or a humpback, one of those two. So uh, there is a lot of whales uh, out on this particular uh, junction uh, in the North Atlantic, especially at this time of year with the migratory species that are moving into uh, different parts of uh, the planet, especially especially up north. He's still talking. I'll be back. So it's uh, you're not going to be able to hear both of us. I don't think. Captain was talking, making announcements. He said that he saw a whale earlier, but there was no time to announce it. And he said that uh, we should see what we should see dolphins or whales. Maybe, perhaps, it's possible. So maybe we'll spend some time up on the upper deck. Keep our eyes out. Sharon says, "I lived in Bermuda for six years and never saw a whale. Went to Hawaii for a week and saw one." <laughs> Okay, good. Yeah, he said as we get closer to, I don't know how much of that you could understand. As we get closer to the Azores, we should see, uh, we, we have a better chance of spotting some stuff, some wildlife. Okay. Yeah, Romani Edmondson says the Wi-Fi and reception is great. It's great. It's great. We're like in the middle of nowhere. We left Bermuda yesterday, right? 
it's amazing. What, what an amazing time. This is a new day. <laughs> it's a new day. Even the man who came, William, William is the, they call him ambassadors, but he's like the, he's in charge of this block of rooms. He came in and he was like, are you working on vacation? <laughs> and I was like, well, maybe it's not vacation. <laughs> Vacations cost money. Yeah, uh, this is amazing, isn't it? So Rashida, okay, don't tell Rashida I said this. She's not watching. Don't tell her I said this. Uh, I would love to host Exodus Summit on a boat. I would love to do an Exodus Summit cruise. Uh, and that was the main question that Rashida had. If we do Exodus Summit on a cruise, we would like to do it on a cruise and on the internet, online and in person on a ship. And uh, I don't, it's, as far as I can tell, it would be possible, right? Virgin does those adults only cruise ships, cruises. I think it might be possible. This is Starlink, it's just Starlink satellite internet. I don't know. That's the thing that she wanted to check out between this cruise and she, she was supposed to go on another cruise later this year that I think the date has changed that she may or may not make. Uh, but that was like a big question that we had. I would love for Exodus Summit for us to get together and do the actual virtual summit in person and virtually and some of us be in a crew on a cruise. It's not this year. OK, we announced the dates for Exodus Summit 2024. It's, that's not happening in 2024. But if it happens in 2025, get your get your stuff together, get your get ready, get ready. I would love for that to be the way that we do it together. Um, yeah, I think it would be amazing. I just saw Marie busting moves. Y'all know Marie from Instagram. I don't know her, but I you know how she, it is. I feel like I know her. Marie from Instagram. She just did a Virgin cruise. Um, Somebody else I follow just did a cruise on Virgin. They looked amazing, amazing, amazing. Okay, y'all think that's a good idea? I think so. I think so, too. I think we haven't had the best service in hotels. Uh, but I think on a, cruise, on a cruise, we could get what we wanted, right? Even the meetups, the hotels have been hit or miss. Uh, but the meetups, I mean, but the, uh, on, a, on a cruise, I think that would be awesome. First, for those who wanted to. Um, it's been an amazing experience as far as the service we're having here, the internet, uh, and the, like, just being on the water is not terrible. We're not feeling, now. Nah, I shouldn't, so far, so far. Things have been nice and smooth, smooth sailing. Uh, so I think that's a thing that I would love to do, I think. Uh, okay, Jughead says, okay, I'll start saving now, okay? <laughs> That's my, that's my dream. I think hers too, but she was like, she's, you know, she's more practical. So she was more like, here are some things we need to investigate before we can even decide if that's possible. So, okay. Angela says, please, please, I'll help. I promise. <laughs> I would love to do that. Um, yeah. And this, this is only reinforcing that dream, that vision, right? If this was hard, if this was not fun, if it was a terrible ride, if the internet stank, then that wouldn't be possible. But, you know, this is this has all made it like, reinforce that vision. Char Charles Zeta Haywood, hi, a virgin cruise would be fabulous. The food is great. Okay, good. Good. Yeah, I, the women who I, I, I follow two different women who just got off virgin cruises, right? And I mean, they seem to have an amazing time and be only happy. Um, so that's the thing that I would love and I think is possible, is very possible for 2025 or 2026. I don't know how long it takes to set up something like that. But I think that is very possible that we'll be on a cruise for Exodus Summit in the future. Um, yeah, because it's been good. This has been good. I know it's only the, only the second full day at sea, but it's been good. Yeah, Chakorette says a health cruise is perfect for me where I could exercise and eat healthy. Yeah, like, you know, on a cruise ship, you, you decide. <laughs> you decide how healthy and how active you want to be. Uh, but yeah, I've, I've been trying to be better on this cruise. You know, we got on on Thursday evening because we, we were supposed to leave Thursday evening. We got on Thursday afternoon. We, came, we got on Thursday afternoon. And I'm trying to make it good. Oh, 
Angie says Ball Girl will travel. Ball Girl travels went on Virgin recently. That's Anne Marie. I think I missed that. I think I missed Anne Marie because I didn't know that. Okay, good. Yeah. And MHK knows we could enter a monthly payment plan. I'm pretty sure that the cruise lines do that for us. They would do that for us. Virgin is a cruise line that is facilitating events, right? Virgin is facilitating conferences and stuff. So it's not, it wouldn't mean that we would have to manage payment plans, right? So I think, I think, I think it's quite possible. Lala Chanel says, my internet is better than, our internet right now is better than hers at home. I know, girl. <laughs> I know. It's amazing. It's amazing. What, ama what an amazing time, right? Like, who can believe it? Now, why can't airplanes do it this then, right? Because airplanes, you pay a million dollars to take a nice flight, and that internet is garbage. Why can't they do better? What's the difference? Okay. Okay, Kathy says, let's do it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. You guys are full of compliments for me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Lucille. Yeah. Oh, uh, this is rest and relaxation. It's joy. It's fun. It's community, right? Doing all the things that I like in one space means I feel good, which means I look good. I think that's what's going on. Herman Dow, Rashida's mom said I look younger. I wish I could figure out what that was <laughs> so I could keep doing that. <laughs> uh, but, you know, I, I, I'm running out of the fit. Remember how I told you I had stopped using the Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer and cleanser, and then I got back on them, and I was like, oh, yeah, that's what happens when you spend money on skincare. Now I'm running low because I thought that I would be able to re-up some stuff in Bermuda, but we didn't have time, first of all. And second of all, uh, taxi rides in Bermuda cost as much as a cruise. <laughs> a, taxi, a taxi in Bermuda cost as much as the flight to get to Bermuda. So I, we went to no stores except for on the day tour. Uh, so I didn't re-up on, I thought I would be able to get to a drugstore. Um, didn't get to a drugstore in Bermuda. So I'm running out of stuff. So if I don't look this good next week. Just pretend. Just lie to me, okay? Because I'm running low. I'm running low. Yeah, Mimi says she doesn't know if she would like cruises because you don't have the freedom to come and go, but she'll have good company, so it'll be a good time. Yeah, I think the secret to that is finding a cruise that ports in enough cities. This is not that cruise. We don't stop until day we're on a 14-day cruise. No, 4 to 10. Four to, we're on an 11-day cruise. We don't stop until day maybe 9. We don't, we don't see land until day 9, right? It meant, we met a man named Mauricio upstairs yesterday from Bogota, Colombia. And that's what he said. He said he's never doing this again. <laughs> and it was only the first day. He said he's never doing a cruise again where you don't port. He likes to go from city to city to city to city. Uh, and this is just about being on the water. So I think the secret to that, the, the solution is to go to a cruise where, you get on a cruise ship where you're going to go to a lot of places where the people who want to do things can do things. The people who don't want to do things cannot do things. Uh, and then also the ships are so big, there's a lot of variety too. I think that that's the solution. Yeah, the, uh, we talked to a man yesterday and that's what he said. I'm, not, I'm never doing this again. And it was the first day. <laughs> His wife was in the spa, and he has cruised all over. He's done all kinds of cruises, Caribbean, um, Antar Antarctic, uh, Alaska, Mediterranean. And he said this was his first time doing this kind. It's a repositioning cruise. They're just moving the, sh the ship from the Caribbean to Europe, right? It was in the Caribbean for the winter doing Caribbean cruises, and we're moving to Europe for the spring and summer and that's why we're on a one-way cruise across the Atlantic and that's why we're not stopping until we get to uh, the Azores okay yeah good I'm glad you're enjoying the sound of the water let it take you back to sleep let it carry you back to sleep okay Reba is right equity she says she'll go okay I, I keep 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 um keep your ears on. <laughs> Keep your ears on. 
Yeah. I think I would love to do that for 2025. And Mina's saying 2025 and 2026. I would love to do that for 2025. Uh, we got, listen, this is not an announcement. It's just out loud, saying things out loud. Okay? I'm just talking. Okay? Yeah, hurricane season starts in October. Yeah, we'll figure something out. We'll talk to, I think we'll talk to a cruise line and start figuring out. Figuring things out. Okay, Angie B says she's in. Okay, okay. Yeah, we'll work on some things. Yes, and Charles Edda says call Kimberly West, right? Kimberly West who spoke at, Dr. Kimberly West, right? Who spoke at Exodus Summit 2022, uh, Move Abroad Money. She talked to us about travel planning as a business and she does travel planning in her business. And we actually talked with her um, about some stuff earlier. So, yeah, yeah, I will. I think I would love that. Listen, this is just me talking, but I would love that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, so this cruise ship... Okay, even Clarice. Hi, Clarice. Saying yes. Mocha Moselle. Okay, good. Yeah, we're um, having a, a wonderful time. Great service, which I knew I was expecting. My mom and I stayed at a Ritz... And my dad. My mom, my dad, and I stayed at a Ritz-Carlton. Um, Marina Del Rey, California. On that vacation that we took to Southern California. And we did not get any service. Not just not good service. We got no service. Like, it was like, we could have just stayed at the residence inn. You know what I'm saying? But I knew that this was going to be a better experience. If this wasn't a better Ritz-Carlton experience, then forget Ritz-Carlton. <laughs> but I knew this was going to be a wonderful experience. So far, it's been, have, would you say, top tier? Yes. Five star? Very much so. Do you feel like a VIP on the boat? Yes, I do. Okay. Okay. Yes, I do, along with the group of VIPs. All the VIPs, All yeah. All the VIPs. Yeah. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, they it's an, it's amazing. It's been wonderful, wonderful. Can't wait to keep, can't wait for every day, every, the next day, every day. Uh, the product, Peter Thomas Roth. I don't remember the name of the face wash, but it's orange. It's kind of orange colored and it smells like, it's probably anti-aging something. And it smells like peaches to me. I, I ran out of the face wash, put something else in the bottle because I had little travel size, put something else in the bottle to travel with and forgot that I was using something else. And then I bought it again, used it literally two times. And I was like, my skin is back. <laughs> Peter Thomas Roth, anti-aging something. And then the moisturizer is called Moisture Drench or Moisture Quench, blue, a bluish bottle with a silver, shiny silver top. Uh, yeah, I'm back at it. I'm back to spending money on <laughs> skincare. And then I use an Olay serum. I use Peter Thomas Roth moisturizer and hi. Do you want to say hi? We were talking about Exodus Summit 2025 at sea. Oh no no no! I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. That was cute. I gotta go. I gotta tiptoe over to my room. Okay. Did you have coffee with the captain? Uh, yes, and then trivia against. How did you do? We did not lose. Okay. So, congratulations. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Run away. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Okay. More spring break updates. Keep updating me, please. Jenny Lynn says travel with Jenny Lynn. Hi, Jenny Lynn. I don't think I haven't seen your name in a while. Hello. Spring break was amazing. Two weeks in Guatemala. Solo travel. Antigua for Holy Week. Oh, I bet that was amazing. Jungle hiking to Tikal. You did a lot. The ancient Mayan site. Wow. Boat ride. Maya. Ancient Maya site. Boat rides to Pueblos area. Lake Atitlan. Fancy malls in Guatemala. Okay, good. The man yesterday who said he likes... The man from Colombia? He said, go to Guatemala. I told him that, Rashida and I told him I was moving to Costa Rica and that Costa Rica, that San Jose, Costa Rica is not my favorite place. I'm just moving there. And he said, one hour flight, just go to Guatemala over and over again. 
<laughs> That's what he said. Just go to Guatemala over again. Eat there. Go to you can go to Guatemala just for restaurants, just for dinner if you want. Uh, good, good food, and he likes the people in Guatemala and everything. Yeah. Where am I? Interesting that he didn't know that. I miss. I'm. Hey, R Roshni. I'm trying to figure out where I am in the chat, but sometimes I can't tell. Where I am. Okay. All right, friends. Yeah. Gianna Toy says, if Semester at Sea can pull it off, so can we. Yeah, well, you know, they have money behind them. <laughs> we, would, we need some sponsors. So, y'all, if you have any pull, if you can get up some sponsors, that would be nice. That would be nice. I can't tell where I am in the chat based on the comments, but I think I'm not too far behind. A repositioning cruise, as far as I know... The, the same place that you go to book a cruise, ship cruise, a regular cruise, right? They just label some as the repositioning cruise. I think this one was less money, cost less money, because you had to fly into one port and out to another. But it was still a lot of money. <laughs> but I think, uh, so we just booked this on Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection, same place that you book their other cruises. You book this one. They have a second yacht available in September or October called Ilma. We're on Evrima. And then the Ilma launches or whatever, uh, September or October. And we just booked it on RitzCarltonYachtCollection.com. D says some repositioning crew. Oh, okay. D knows. Okay. D is a yachtswoman, a sailor, a water girl. Okay. She would know. She's the, she's the person to ask questions to. Some people, some repositioning cruises stop more often. I did one that made a lot of stops in Europe. Okay. We left from Rome, ended in New York, but three weeks. Oh, so you yeah. got to stop all along the Mediterranean. I bet. Oh, that sounds awesome. Write that down. Ma. Write that. Oh. <laughs> Write that. <down. laughs> Write that down. We've talked to two people, some Mauricio and another woman who both said that they don't think they do this kind of cruise again. But listen, I'm, I'm coming back. We're doing this again next year. I like, we, we do it. <laughs> it's that, it's been that good already. Already. It's beautiful out here. It's beautiful. Yes, beautiful. Rock. Uh, says she bought a jar of face cream from Dr. Strom on sale. Notice the difference immediately. Almost gone. Yeah, worth every dollar. Yeah, I, some stuff. Was, okay, skincare and cruises. <laughs> Spend a little extra money. Get a little extra better, right? Some stuff is worth a little extra money. Uh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just looking in the chat. I should be saying things, but I'm just scrolling through the chat to see if there's any new, any other spring break updates. I'm glad for those of you who have taken, um, done something for your spring break, right? Have created a pause, right? Have done something to create a pause. Octavia Rahim always refers to things as a pause. Uh, I'm glad for those of you who have. You getting ready to go do your painting? Yeah, I should. Can I help you get the little, you have some things in your hair. Oh, it's just product not melted in. Oh. I don't, I don't, I won't mess it up. The cocoa butter. Yeah. Is it okay, basically? Huh? My hair's okay, basically. Yeah. Well, you know, you always have an empty hole in the back. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Have all a right, good time. See you later. So you're not gonna make it there at all. No, I'm not coming. All I right. can't paint anyway. They're going to paint tote bags now. It's paint tote bag painting class with the same craft lit with Alma. So good luck. I hope you win. All right. Bye bye, everybody. See okay. you next year on our cruise. <laughs> if we don't let Rashida know what we're doing, we'll just go. <laughs> All right. Have fun, Ma. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I know what team you're on. Now I know what team you're on. Yeah, just for a minute. Uh -huh. <laughs> Betrayed me so quickly. I'm sorry. Oh. You came that way, so her room is. They connect, door. yeah. They removed our divider. What can I see? <laughs>
<laughs> Rashida and I are neighbors. Everybody else is kind of, my mom is a couple rooms down and Rashida's mom and godmom are at least two or three ro rooms down. But Rashida and I are next door neighbors. So they removed the little divider so that we could pass through the balcony. We have a little balcony uh, thing. This morning we both got room service for breakfast and they both delivered our breakfast out here. And Rashida called me over. She's like, can you want to come and take some pictures? And I came and took pictures of myself. She was like, no, you're supposed to take pictures of me and my room service. I was like, oh. Yes, for the same place we did the thing yesterday. Okay. Yeah, they're going to uh, paint tote bags. I don't, I, I don't have that. I can't see something and make it. You know what I mean? Painting and drawing. It's like my brain, my eyes, and my hands, like there's no connection whatsoever. So I'm not going to do it. Because it would just be abstract again, and Alma would be so sick of me not following directions. <laughs> I already went rogue on my keychain. <laughs> she would be so sick of me not following directions. There's another macrame class, I think, tomorrow. So I'll go back to the other macrame class. We're supposed to macrame some bags. Um, I may watch a YouTube video in the meantime to learn what she was trying to teach me yesterday. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, the a aviator, thanks for giving my company a second chance. They are taking amazing care of us. They're taking amazing care of us. It's been wonderful. Wonderful. You know, I have a lot of beef with the hospitality industry because, you know, it's so hard to find hospitality. <laughs> It's so hard to get hospitality in the hospitality industry, but we're on a winning streak. We stayed at the Hyatt in Johannesburg. Once we got there, now the process ahead of time, there were problems, lots and lots of problems. But once the group of, I think we had 70 rooms booked in the Hyatt in Johannesburg, once that happened, once we got there, service, amazing. Then we flew to Bermuda. The five of us stayed in Bermuda for three nights. We stayed at the Rosewood something, Rosewood Bermuda, top tier service. Uh, and back, and now we're here on the Ritz-Carlton Collection, Evrima, top, top, top tier service. Even better than I thought, right? Even better than I had anticipated. It's been wonderful. It's really nice to spend money to get the things, the treat, the things that you want, right? We talk a lot about saving money, making money, you know putting money aside, but spend it. It's not worth anything until you use it. Money is not worth anything until you use it, right? Use it. And get the things that you want for yourself. Instead of, like we talked about, instead of always putting it off, do it. Do it. <laughs> I think he says Miss Connie is a VIP everywhere all day. <laughs> Yeah, they've been so good to us. So, so good to us. Okay, thank you, Rika. It's called Anti-Aging Cleaning Gel. Thank you. I love it. It smells like peaches to me. I'm not the best at, at identifying smells, okay? But I think it smells like peaches. And when I used it for two days, I was immediately like, oh, okay. She's back. <laughs> back. Maybe that's why. Oh. Now I'm putting it together. Maybe that's why Ms. Dow said I look younger. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Hi. Let's put this up here. Hi, what's going on? Um, I'm going to go paint a bag. I made a dinner reservations for this evening. What time? 7.15. Great, thank you. Um, I'm just enjoying my beautiful time on my beautiful cruise. Yeah. Yes, I talked to everybody. I told them how you said this is a thing that you want to do. And instead of being like, I'll do it someday, you worked on, I'm going to do it now. I'm going to do it now. Yeah. Worth it. And how we crashed it. Now I was like, oh, me too. <laughs> me. We want to go too. Said, seven, seven. Let me see them details real quick. <laughs> Next thing I know, she's like, just add me to the, you doing some stuff, just add, just tell the lady I want, I'm going to. Yeah, so you're my luxury mentor. Listen, we are luxuriating on this trip. Yeah, it is beautiful. It's beautiful. Everyone's very nice. Nice. Which people are nice when they're when they are 
when they're happy. Luxury. When they're yes. when they are experiencing when being, luxury. Yeah. When they don't have to compromise anything. And they're not competing for any resources. Uh huh. <laughs> Everyone is like, hi, where you from? Hi. Across are you, the room. Hi. Are you a family? We're neighbors. Yeah. We're staying across the hall from you. I was like, girl, I ain't never seen your face before in my life. <laughs> okay. Okay. We're yeah. kind of easy to keep yes, track of. We are we are easy. <laughs> There's one more black woman and I have not seen her since the first night. I haven't seen another black woman. I've seen the man who might be black. There are two black men on this boat. Yes, we met one at the yes. hotel. And then one is here. It's either yours or mine. I'll go check. Mm-hmm. Okay, thank you. Doorbell's ringing. Yeah, yeah, people have been, even the guests guests have been kind to us, which you never know, right? You never know how other people are going to be. But guests have been really kind to us. Um, staff's been amazing, amazing. The, a woman at the Rose, the, the housekeeper, my mom's house, actually, was she my mom's housekeeper? Or was she just a housekeeper at the Rosewood, Ra- Rosewood Hotel? Gave my mom her phone number. <laughs> She's like, oh, please, give this to your mom. <laughs> I can't do the Bermuda accent. It's a lot. The Bermuda accent is a lot. Please give this to your mom. Next time you come, have her call me. I live 11 minutes away. Hi, Ms. Dow. You want to say hi to, to you two? I did not let her in. By the time I got to the door, she was already inside. I, uh, yeah, I had left the thing. Ooh. Friends meet Herman Dow, yes. Rashida's mom, who always turns me down when I ask her to be a guest on I was channel. having my cameo moment. <laughs> good morning, beautiful people. And here you come. Oh, oh, good afternoon. How are you enjoying uh, Rick's, Rick's Carlton Collection at Vrima Yacht Hotel at Sea? I'm having a fantastic time. Yes. It really is. Good. Yeah. Yes. What, uh, do you have a favorite part so far? Is it um, too early for that? It's too early. I'm going off to sign up for wine tasting. Oh, what time is wine tasting? Uh, the one I want is... Uh, oh, I'm not doing that. Listen, I... <laughs> I'm doing the things that are included. Okay, I'm not paying. I don't know what I was like. I... Whatever kind of gutter swill wine you're serving me is good enough. Thank you. I am the, I the best that. people, so I am gone off. It was wonderful meeting all of you. She only does the best when she's not paying for it. <laughs> but I have to pay for this one. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. that's not included. You got to pay for that. Yes. Girl, you had to put your card on file. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you can't find right. Yeah. Have Bye, fun. folks. See Thank you, you later. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> You know we're neighbors, and they removed our divider. I know. <laughs> yeah, it's been so nice to see our moms having a good time. And Marilyn, who's Rashida's godmom, it's so nice to see them having a good time. Uh, although, I mean, like, they have good times wherever they go. Our moms, you know, they know how to enjoy themselves. But it's so nice to be here, to be, like, doing it, to be here together, having fun and cutting up. And, uh, you know, relaxing and eating good, all of that, all of that. Yeah, it's been, it's amazing. I'm so glad we did it. I'm so glad we did it because we really, seriously, we could have been like, mm, it later, like when Rashida turns 50, right? We could have been, we could have done that because people kept asking us, what are y'all celebrating? You know, white people, what are y'all celebrating? The same thing you're celebrating is <laughs> April. Same thing you're celebrating. Although it is two Marilyn and my mom's birthdays happen to have be during this time. Uh, but yeah, Rashida's mom is Jamaican. Uh, and uh, Rashida's godmom is Jamaican. I understand Herman Dow perfectly. I have a Jamaican uncle and his sisters have been my aunts forever. Uh, I understand her. But Marilyn, girl, I'll be like, girl, why, <laughs> why am I struggling with this? Why am I struggling with this? She got on the mic and told the head chef that his rice and peas was very, 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 very good. It was excellent. She said, I think she said beautiful. Oh. It wasn't as good as hers. <laughs> on the mic. It's not as good as when I do it, but it was, it was, oh. very, it was so good. I said, oh, you know what? Oh, that's cute. Did he say, what did he say? Did he come out and thank her? He thanked her. Okay. Yeah. Oh. No, no, no. They were, it was during the coffee chat. He was out there. The chef was out there. Oh, during okay. The captain's coffee chat. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> yeah, she, she said she really liked it. Mm-hmm. She, she told me, she was like, come and get it. Come and get, come and get some of oh, this. Oh, Marilyn did that, not my mom. Okay, okay. Maybe yeah. mom can't cook. She was like, come and get some of this. Okay. Marilyn said, almost as good as my mom's. And I said, you know what? I, okay, all right. <laughs> 
Okay. That's okay. high praise, I think. It was it was meant to be high praise. <laughs> it was definitely meant to be high praise. Have you shown them how beautiful it is out there? I did. While the captain was announcing, I turned things around and let everybody see. Get a little water view, get a little water sounds out here. Yeah. It's beautiful. It's nice. It is nice. It's beautiful. <laughs> Well, I thought he was going to tell us to run run and go look for some. But he didn't. Whales. He's never talking about nothing. He said that we could, we will see. You heard him. You heard him. We will see whales later. That's what I heard him say. Guaranteed. I don't need to know now that we will see whales later. <laughs> tell me when the whales are. Because I said, are you going to make an announcement when the whales are out? And they were like, eh, it depends on if you have time to go see them. Yeah. Um, Anyhow, y'all, what is Stephanie not telling you about the cruise? Whatever question she has an answer. Yeah. What else? What else? Did she show, you show them your macrame? Yes. And how you wanted macrame? <laughs> she wanted macrame. It's not, I didn't even know macrame was happening. So she won. She well, I showed, uh, They've. we decided if I flatten it out a little bit, yeah. I could use it. First, I got to get some keys and then I could use it as a keychain, key ring later. It's a beautiful key ring. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and mm-hmm. I told him that Latin dancing is tonight. I have the dress on for it. I don't dance. Okay. I can't. I'm not a good dancer at all. Are you going to go to Latin? Listen at the end of trivia. So, Sammy hosted trivia yesterday. Hosted trivia today, and she's hosting the Latin dancing lessons and I guess the party. At the end of trivia, she says Latin dancing later, and then looks at me and says, "But no Latin men," because we had taught. We'd asked her. My mom asked her yesterday. If she was going to find some Latin men for the Latin dancing. Looked dead in my face. And said, but no Latin men. She's just saving the Latin men for later. Oh, but the the hottie. the What about the excursion director? Super handsome. Don't you think Which he's super one? handsome? The one we were talking to yesterday? Mm-hmm. The short one? Ten. He's a ten. I, th- I didn't think you liked short men. For you. you oh, no. I hardly saw him. I okay. just barely saw him. Because he's like my height. He's your height. Flavio? But ten. He's a, yes. They're, and Romanian? Mm-hmm. Very nice. That's right. That's Lives right. He, he's, they, sound, they, sp- they sound Spanish. Yes. You know, Romanian is yes. a romance language. Ten. Hi, Marcia. Marcia I mean, or Marcia Unbound. Hi. A woman was like, everybody's falling in love with my husband. But, but that's your husband. So I don't know what to do with that information. Um, the singles mixer had some single men yesterday, right? Mm-hmm. Two. How old were they? 99 and 89. <laughs> no, they were probably in their 70s. Mm-hmm. Uh, almost everybody here is a couple over 65. Mm-hmm. If you are not a couple over 65, you are not, they're not, it's not like they're making you feel unwelcome no. or like you're out of place, no. but you're not part of the majority. There's a family of four here and the kids are probably not quite 30. Who? I haven't met them yet. The birthday boy. I have no idea. Oh, I yeah. Must have been nappy. There's a family of four, and the the kid the kids are in their late twenties or early thirties. Um, my mom said the birthday. She calls him the birthday boy because that's what we know him as. Uh, he is. He went to the class with her yesterday, and I haven't seen them. And then I saw him at dinner. I'm going down to go paint okay. a tote bag. Happy tote bag. Let me see if I can paint one for you. Okay. Have fun. Have fun. Bye. Bye, y'all. Yeah, no, this is not the thing. So what my what I think will happen for us, I think on this cruise, I think we're going to make some lifelong friends, right? And that's saying a lot for me, a person who doesn't really, I usually only talk to black women, right? You know, my life is black women. But I think we're going to make somebody, some lifelong friend. Um, yeah. Maybe Flavio. Hottie. <laughs> 10. He was a 10 out of 10. <laughs> yeah, no other single men that I no other s- single men that I've seen. There are couples, there are s- a few families. I haven't noticed any single men, but we knew that. First of all, this is not cheap. Second of all, it's, it's just not the it doesn't have that kind of vibe. It had a very retired Ritz Carlton, right? It had a very retired vibe. Although a surprising number of people here are still employed because they've a couple of people did ask, what do we do? Mauricio asked us what we did for a living. (laughs) 
So there are some people who still work. He's still, he's, he's working. He's not retired yet. Rashida said she was retired. And he said, I'm not retired yet. Marcia. Okay, hi. That's my, my cousin is the same. So I'll remember now. Marcia Unbound. Yeah. Uh, no, no single men, except for maybe the staff, maybe. Um, but, and the excursion manager, like I said, 10 out of 10. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, but people have been very friendly. You never know, right? You never know. But like everyone has been very friendly, not our peer group. No, but you know, people know people, right? People know other people. And so what making one friend in one place, even if that person isn't somebody you would assume would be in your peer group could lead, you never know what could happen. Right. One friend can change things for you, can change your life. One friend with a villa. <laughs> That's why I've been introducing myself as a house sitter. OK, I'm a house sitter. I will house sit for you. Right. A couple, a, a couple, two men were like, oh, we're going to get your information before we leave. We have a house in Denver and we have a house in Puerto Vallarta. Right. I am a house sitter. <laughs> right? <laughs> so, uh, yeah, it's been good. There is the sing so there was a singles mixer. I think there might be a singles mixer every day. I've seen it. This is the third one I've seen on the sorry, third one I've seen on the schedule. So there might be one every day, but it's going to be the same three people because there's only 170 of us on this boat. There's only 170 people here. Yeah, we knew that coming in. We knew it was going to be older people, retirees or close. Uh, we knew that. I was surprised to see the family of four with the two 20-something. I was surprised because we were joking. We were like, we're going to be the youngest people, and I'm 50, right? <laughs> I'm 49 and, and, what, 49 and three quarters? And I was like, I think we're going to be the youngest people, but we're not because of them. And then there's another couple that's pretty young, uh, a woman from Philly. She's from Philly. Uh, they're pretty young. What's the food like? Good. Good. Uh, so let me tell you, what have I had so far? I had filet mignon my first night. Uh, I ordered at medium well because my mom and I, were, I was going to give her a little slice of it. If I, normally, I would order at medium. I ordered at medium well so we could both eat it. A++. plus uh, plus. Last night. Last night, I just had gnocchi for dinner. Uh, breakfast has been always good. I had pancakes today. I told y'all I was going to eat healthy, but today was not that day. I ordered pancakes and bacon today. Pancakes were 10. I haven't had pancakes this good in quite a while, literally. And they brought them to the room. It wasn't even like I went down to the restaurant by the, you know, how room services, sometimes by the time you get it, things have changed. Uh, but pancakes were amazing. The drinks have been excellent. The bartender, there's a bartender who is Ugandan and Rwandan. One parent is from Uganda and one parent is from Rwanda. And she's lived in both countries. Uh, and she was like, uh, do you want a drink? And I said, I just want a vodka and cranberry right now. And she goes, Tito's. <laughs> she said, Americans love Tito's. <laughs> I said, I think it's because Tito's is healthier. She's like, it's not healthier. She said, Tito's is just the first vodka to write gluten-free on the label. She said, all vodka is gluten-free. It's for potatoes. Right. <laughs> anyway, back on this. The staff has been amazingly wonderful, wonderful. I didn't get any good service in Mauritius. You know, I spent almost a month in Mauritius, just the month of March. I spent the month of March in Mauritius. Now, I don't have one good example of good service. Right. And so it's been so wonderful to come here first Bermuda and then this boat, this cruise, this yacht and get amazing service from people who just like or just chilling and chatting, right? It's really, when you travel with people like Rashida and her mom who are outgoing and friendly anyway, um, you're going to you're gonna interact with people. People are going to interact with you differently, but they've been just amazing. Really, 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 like really, really. When you go to Ritz-Carlton Yacht Collection and you see the price, understand that there is a different amount of service, a different amount of luxury that comes with that, right? It's not just about a bed on a boat. It's different. Uh, it's been fantastic. We deserve, right? 
And I don't mean just the five of us. I mean, we deserve. Let it happen. Rashida had, um, she hasn't had turn down service since we've been here. I'm like, girl, let the man come in your room <laughs> and do whatever. Let it happen. We deserve, right? Okay, Stephanie DK says NCL does great solo cruises with good meetups. All right, so singles out there, that's uh, that's uh, that's good info. Keisha Berry. Oh, hi, Keisha. Hi, hi. I miss you. <laughs> Celebrity Cruises has the same age range. Everybody had kids her age on the boat. Yeah, at the time I was in my late 40s. Yeah, yeah. I think it's just about a matter of my, when my dad goes places, he always be like, there's nothing but old people here. I'm like, American people under 60 something, under 70 do not have money to live their lives, let alone travel and enjoy luxury and free time and fun, right? Everybody's old there because all the young people are busy working two and three jobs. That's another conversation. That's a problem. That's a problem. Yeah, dancing is exercise. Yeah, we're going dancing. Yeah. Yes, I talked to everybody. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's been really, really, really amazing. Really amazing. BB, Rodriguez, we started booking Ritz Carlton in our mid 30s. Hi, BB. Yeah. I, um, like you, sometimes you have to intentionally up level, right? It's really easy to stay with what you're familiar with. And sometimes you have to up level with intention, right? I told y'all once I started playing for uh, premium or, uh, business class flights, I'm not going back to coach. I'm not doing it. <laughs> I'm not doing it. I've decided with intention to uh, do things at this level. Because I want that level of service and luxury, right? It's not just about the bed in the boat, right? Or on the plane. It's not just about we all get there at the same time. Actually, we don't, right? Because I got to come to the airport later. I had a better experience at the airport. Different line for security and everything. And then I got off my plane before you did. I've cleared security. I've cleared customs. I've cleared immigration, you still getting off the plane, right? <laughs> my bag has pre premier. My bag gets off first, right? Let pay. Sometimes we got to pay for the treatment that we want. Pay for the service that we want. Pay for the luxury that we want. I, hi, Amina. I told him I was a house sitter. Here, so I normally, that is my answer a lot of the time for things. What do you do, Stephanie? As little as possible. And people would be like, I know that's right. <laughs> But here, no, I'm a house sitter. Hi, Stephanie, what do you do? I'm a house sitter. I take care of cats and dogs. I'm going to get your number. That's what they said. I'm going to get your information before we leave. Yes, you will. Okay. <laughs> yes, you will. Okay. I house sit in Colorado. I house sit in Puerto Vallarta. Yes, indeed. No, here, I'm on, in, on purpose, making sure. I'm a house sitter. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> That's it. That's it. The chat is on the prowl. <laughs> not on the prowl here. Y'all not on the prowl here because ain't no, there's no prey. <laughs> there's no prey, right? Only takes one friend with a yacht to change everything. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Beautiful view. It's just beautiful. Even if you're on a cruise that's not some, this, get you a balcony room. My only experience with a cruise before was on Royal Caribbean, and I was in an interior room. Listen, get you a balcony room. It's worth it. It's worth it. Yeah, Lady Sarita says, I've never defined friends by age. It's so, and, it's, and it's really nice to intentionally or maybe accidentally have friends in different age groups as well. Because they just know stuff. <laughs> They know things, right? Like we're on this boat and we're moving time zones. I think we're moving four, through four different time zones before we land in Portugal. And um, our phones didn't update. At 2 a.m. we needed to, or you know, this morning, we needed to change our phones manually. Well, 
Who gonna do that for the 80 year olds? <laughs> Rashida and I. <laughs> Rashida and me. Me. Rashida and me. Yeah, right? Like, yes, indeed. Hello. Nice to meet you. I'm a house sitter. Yeah, because a good portion of these people are either Americans or live in America. There are quite a few people here who are not Americans but live in America, right? Uh, that's a question that they just ask by default. Uh, so, okay, I'm going to tell you this time. This time, I'll tell you. <laughs> He's like, oh, but do you... I said, I'm a house sitter. He's like, oh, we need that. Oh, but do you take care of dogs? Yes, I do. Dogs and cats. I said, no rabbits. No rabbits. <laughs> Are there any house sits on a yacht? Anything is possible if somebody needs that service. I just don't know of that service. There's probably somebody who needs somebody to stay on their yacht for some reason. I don't know. I don't know anything about it. I think crew, I think mostly crew people take care of yachts when the owners are away. I don't know. Tracy Mills, lovely Bermuda, the land of my peeps. Safe travels. Thanks, Tracy. Bermuda was fantastic. Fantastic. So coming from Mauritius, where nobody was nice to me, <laughs> where there was no service, nothing. Mauritius gave nothing. Okay? Mauritius, I'm telling you, Mauritius gave nothing. It wasn't especially beautiful like Bermuda is the water was warm I'll say that water the ocean water warm warm just walk right in right ocean water was warm that Indian Ocean I think that's for me right uh, but it gave nothing else not good food not good service nothing else leaving there and going to Bermuda was like night and day the service, you can tell that they pride themselves on making Bermuda the best experience for you, right? For them too, I'm sure, because they seem to live pretty good lives, even though it's an expensive island. They seem to live pretty good lives, right? We didn't see shanty towns. Small island. It's only 20 miles long, I think. 20-some miles long, 24 miles. It's not small island. We didn't see shanty towns. They seem to take good care of each other, right? The government takes, seems to take good care of the people. But they also, you can tell that they pride themselves on being a place that tourists come and enjoy and return again and again and again. Um, and like I said, the housekeeper came over to my, because I was late checking out, okay? Housekeeper knocked on my door. Can you please give my phone number to your mother? <laughs> she said, next time you come, I only live 11 miles away, right? I was something. I was rushing to get ready. She's telling me what they're going to do next time they come here. Right? Really, really warm and friendly people. Sincerely warm and friendly people. Bermuda was an A+. Plus. It's expensive. I'm telling you. The, the, I, I did not do anything Wednesday or Thursday morning. No, we did go out Wednesday. We did things Wednesday. I didn't do... We had, we had a good amount of time Thursday morning. I didn't leave. And that, that's when I was supposed to go and do some stuff. Go get in a taxi. Go to the drugstore. Re-up my stuff. I didn't do it because I'm not paying. I'm not paying $100 for a taxi on an island that's 20 miles long. <laughs> okay, so be prepared for that. But it was amazing. It was an amazing place. Bermuda was fantastic. Bermuda is okay with me. It wasn't warm because, you know, Bermuda is not Caribbean. Bermuda is, like, out on the same parallel as, like, North and South Carolina, Right? Bermuda is on the Carolina line. Uh, so it wasn't a warm, we, it, you know, it was 70s, 70s in the day. And then we had a couple of rainy, off and on rainy days. We had, I don't think any day was a full rainy day. No, but like off and on rain. Uh, but in the summertime, I, I that, that is like paradise. Because it was already amazing just on a regular day in April. May, March, no, we got there April 1st, April. Yeah, Bermuda was, it moves up a few notches in my book. Yeah. I'm on my way, Lenora. I'm on my way to the club. I'm already calling myself 50, but I'm on my way. My fa my serum is uh, Olay Regenerist something. It's, a, it's not the regular Olay Regenerist serum. It's something else. I talked about it not too long ago. If I can find it in just a second, I'll tell you. Because it's got like a name like Super Serum or something. Olay. 
over generous. Let's see, let's put in best Olay serum. There it is. Click on it. I can see the picture. Oh, come on, don't take me to a regular. Super Serum, it is called Super Serum. Olay Regenerist Super Serum is the one I use. Uh, it's the serum. Yeah, I think this, it's been a good combination for me. Good combination. I've been alternating, healthier. It's not hard to eat healthier than burgers and fries. I, chicken, chicken sandwich, I really eat chicken sandwiches and fries all the time. So, better than that. Uh, to me, filet mignon, filet mignon, I think my nutrition coach would agree, Kaikia, if you're watching. I think she would agree that filet mignon was a better choice than a burger and fries. <laughs> I, think, I think that's what I mean by healthier. Uh, that's what I mean. I don't mean eating only health food. I just mean better choices than my normal. Better choices than a chicken, fry, a chicken sandwich and fries. That's all. That's what I, and milkshake. That's all I mean. Eleanor. Yes. Come on. Come on over. Good portions. Yes. You know, in the United States, portions are so supersized that you, you have to, it's a, an adjusted portion. So I would say not American portion, like everywhere. It's a normal portion to everyone else in the world. It's not the American portion. That's what I think. But you can get as much food as you want because on this cruise, everything is included except for the extra things like Rashida's mom was going to. Um, every that stuff is included. So if you want two entrees, get two entrees. Okay, right. So it's it's all included. Everything is included except for caviar and some particular French champagne, and then some things like there's that special wine tasting that was that was additional. Um, but everything is included. So if they if you feel like the portion wasn't enough, just order another one. Right. Like, it's like that. It's like that. I, I was like, <laughs> I think I just want a vodka and cranberry, which is usually, the only time I usually drink that is on a plane. I drink vodka and cranberry sometimes on planes. I don't buy vodka in my everyday life. I was like, I just want a little vodka and cranberry. To me, that's a refreshing health drink. <laughs> she was like, Tito's is not healthy. She said, Americans love Tito's. They had Grey Goose. Back in, the, in my younger days, I bought Grey Goose. Or I, in my younger days, I drank Grey Goose, especially when men were buying, right? When I was in my men are buying me drinks age era. <laughs> when I was in the men are buying me drinks era, Grey Goose was my thing. But now I'm on Tito's, right? It looks, it looks, like, a, <laughs> it looks like a craft vodka. I know it's not, but it looks like a small batch <laughs> handmade health drink. <laughs> I don't, they may have had Belvedere. She listed off a few. I, I, list, I stopped at Tito's, but she list, listed off a few. They had choices. They got choices. And then there's, that was one bar. And then they have one bar that's called the bar. This was the bar that's in the living room. They have a room that's called the living room where just like games and stuff happen. There's some snacks on the bar and stuff. But then there's a real bar bar called The Bar. Um, and he has special some specialty drinks as well. Yeah, BB, Bermuda is fabulous. Bermuda A+, plus. I'm so serious. I've only been to, in the Caribbean, I've only been to Jamaica, Bahamas, Grenada, Curacao. Well, again, Bermuda's not in the Caribbean, but I'm going to just lump it together, right? Uh, and I would put Bermuda at the top right now. If you want a luxury, beautiful vacation understanding that the weather is not caribbean weather right understanding that you're in north carolina <laughs> right you're getting north carolina's weather um the water was cold all of that but i would in she said in july june july august the water warms up and the temperature warms up up there but bermuda right it's not curacao priced curacao was less expensive and that's for a reason bermuda was just beautiful Beautiful, I'm telling you. Beautiful and amazing, amazing service. Amazing people in general. Not just in terms of them being service providers, but them being just nice, friendly people. Hosts. Hosts is maybe what I'll call it. Hospitality. Right? We deserve. We deserve. NCL is Norwegian Cruise Line, right? Yeah. 
I love the hospitality industry is not hospitable. There ain't no hospitality, right? That's what I always say. Ain't no hospitality in the hospitality industry. But we've been proving that wrong over the last week or so. It's just been the last week or so we've been proving that wrong. Imani says also Greece has great customer service, very affordable in spring and fall. Yeah. Yeah, the money and the time is the difference between who's out here and who's not. While we only see retirees mostly. Oh, can we do a room tour? Yeah, well, come on in. It's about time for me to come in anyway. My mom flew Bermuda Air. Speaking of Bermuda, my mom flew Bermuda Air and they gave her a bag and a beach towel type thing. She flew Bermuda Air. She flew business class. We flew separately because I came from, uh, from Mauritius and she came from Delaware. She flew Bermuda Air and look what they gave her. And because she's a senior citizen, she asked for two more and they gave her two more. So Rashida and I got one too. Look at that. Look at that. Yes. Because she's a senior. When she asks for things, people give it to her. <laughs> yeah. Let me show you my suite. Uh, this is the balcony. And you see Rashida's is right there. They they opened up the divider a little bit. So Rashida's is right there. That's the water. Let me come on in. Let me show you. It's hard for me to do this in reverse, but I think I can. Let's see. Let's see if you can see. I'm going to move the comments. Let me close the comment box so I can see you. I mean, so I can see what you're seeing. Okay. Yeah, how's the, the attendant, the room attendant just left? Um, yeah, I don't know how much, how interesting it looks to you. But this is the room. I think it's good size. The bed is pretty comfortable. That rose, the bed in the rosewood, I think, beats this bed. I think the rosewood hotel bed was probably the most comfortable bed I've ever slept in in my whole life. But um, this one is very comfortable. Super comfortable. Yeah, this is it. If I turn light on, it'll look a little cuter. Let me get, let me get the light for you. Hallway. There's a little button here for service. Instead of the cards on the door, um, there's a little button that lights up that says I want service or, or do not disturb. Okay. So this is it. Oh, I still left this on there. The they have um in the in the first closet they had some things in here, but this is just this is my bag right here. This is my bag. But they had a thing here and I was super excited to open it, but it's just like a shoe shine kit. There's a shoe horn, a shoe polishing cloth, and a brush. So it's not interesting. And then this valise up here has an extra blanket. I'm like, oh, can we keep that? Is, that, <laughs> is this mine? <laughs> I don't think it's mine. I unpacked everything and put it in the closet and the drawer. So I have a lot of space in here. And then they came and put my bags under the bed. There's under bed storage. They, they just lifted up the mattress and put my suitcases under there. So that I, one of the suitcases, I have two suitcases and a, and a couple bags. And they put them under there to give some extra space in the closet and in the room. Uh, I'm not going to open the closet because I have dirty laundry on the floor of the closet. There's a, of course you can pay to have your laundry done here, but there's also a laundry room. Connie Perry just finished her laundry. So I'm going to go and do some laundry, but I have some stuff in the closet, so I'm not going to open that. Okay. This is it. How was the room tour? Oh, if you follow me on Instagram at vicarious, I'm going to try to show, do Instagram stories every day. I did a cute story and reel just yesterday. Yeah, mini bars included. I'll show you that. Let me show you. Let me get it angled right. Boom, boom. Okay. Uh, I got Octavia Rahim's book because I was sitting out listening to it and reading it. I like to read. I have the audio book and the, and the book. Uh, we've got teas here. 
Uh, we've got coffee and sugar here. A little corkscrew. And then we've got the mini bar. And yeah, it's included. Yeah, it's included. So a nice stocked mini bar. Make they restocked if you need it. Everybody, every suite got their champ got some champagne. We haven't opened any of ours yet. And we've got four bottles, five bottles, four four or five bottles to go through. So we gotta get to work. Yeah, this is it. Yeah. It's beautiful for a cruise, for a ship, for a yacht, for a boat. You know, I'm struggling with the words. It's a boat or a ship or a cruise or a vessel. Every time I say boat, the staff says vessel. <laughs> Every time I'll be like something, something boat. And they'll be like vessel, the vessel. <laughs> the vessel has sailed this, this route four times. I think that's what they told us. Uh, I've been on this vessel for two routes, right? Something like that. Um, yeah, but it's, what was I saying about it? The ship is, I was saying something about it. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So I, I'm trying to re I'm trying to program some stuff into my brain. And so I've been reading her book, reading pause recipe and listening to it. And just this morning I went back over chapter two because I'm trying to get in my brain the words that Octavia Rahim wrote, which were. Prepare your, you see how good I'm doing. I'm not doing it right. Prepare your, I don't want to lose my bookmark. Let me tell you exactly what she said. Prepare your refuge. Let me go to page 13. Beloved, you will need refuge. Build your ark. That's what she said. Okay? And pause, rest, be. She said, Beloved, you will need refuge. Prepare. No, build your ark. You will need refuge. Build your ark. So I've been trying to listen to this chapter over and over again in my brain. Uh, you know, in, on the audiobook while reading it trying to get it seared into my brain. <laughs> I'm trying to program my brain. It's not working. You know, it's, I just started, you know, right before we went live, I had breakfast. So I need to do some more. But I need that. You know how sometimes you get things in your head and you wake up and that's what you're hearing, right? Sometimes it's music, but sometimes it's just words. That's what I want to meditate on right now, right? You will need refuge. Build your art. Uh, for me, the ark is not just about physical. So I'm, I'm in the process of getting a home, right? I'm in, in the process of moving to Costa Rica and finding a place to live and making it a home for the next few years. But my ark is just not about a physical place, right? It's also about safety and security and support, which is what Octavia writes about in, in Pause Rest B. Uh, so I'm in the process of building my ark. My ark is also people, or first and foremost, I guess, my ark is people, some of whom I'm on a boat with right now, right? Build the ark is what I want to be playing over and over in my head. So I'm working on it. I'm working on it. The book is Pause, Rest, Be by Octavia Rahim. If you're watching from the future, if you're watching the replay, hello, friends in the future, I'll link to it in the description of this video. But it's Pause, Rest, Be by Octavia Rahim. Octavia was a speaker at Exodus Summit 2023, and she has a book coming out this fall as well. Stillness Practices for Courage in Times of Change is Pause, Rest, Be. And then she has a book coming out this fall, which I will tell you about. We'll talk about. Oh, hopefully. Oh, maybe she will talk to you about it another sometime soon. Sometime soon. Yeah. Refuge. I, I just want to be, I just want to think on refuge and arts. I think this is a, an appropriate time to be thinking about building my ark while I'm rocking on a boat. Okay. All right. Yes. Build my ark. Build your ark. We will need refuge.
we already need refuge, but we w- life is always changing. Things are always coming. <laughs> we will need refuge, and we need to build our ark. Okay. On Spotify? Okay, good. I listen to the audiobook on Audible. Okay, good. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, thank you for typing that in. Pause Recipe by Octavia Rahim. Okay. All right, how are we doing on the time? An hour and a half? I have, that means it is 1.30 and I have salsa at 3.30. So I have time to get a little lunch and maybe take a nap. And then I want to go to salsa. No, there's something at 3. There's something by the pool at 3. And then salsa at 3.30. So I have time to do all of that um, now. Yes, right? We have to build these things. It's not going to... I don't think it's going to fall from the sky. Maybe that's not the right answer. But I don't think these things fall from the sky for us. Whatever our refuge is, is comprised of, right? A loving and supportive home, loving and supportive relationships, right? Financial prosperity. I don't know that these things fall from the sky. I think we build those things. And I think that we tell ourselves the importance of building those things. And then we let some things manifest. I think that Rashida manifested this experience for us. Um by saying she wanted to have this experience (laughs) and then saying yes to it and letting it happen instead of saying, oh, but, but, you know. Um, And I want, and I've had uh, quite a few encounters with women over the last few weeks where they've said, you know, I just said I wanted X, Y, Z, and now I have the opportunity for X, Y, Z. So I think part of that is our arc. Right. Building our art, building our refuge is building a place where we can voyage to the new. Right. The ark is about refuge and safety, but it's also about transport. Right. It's quite literally transportation to what's new. And I want to build that. Right. For what's new. Things are changing for me individually, for us collectively. And so that's what I've been thinking on. That's what I've been thinking on. Some We think of the arc in terms of bad stuff is coming. But also, like, good stuff is coming for me, too. Uh, but I can, won't be able to reach it by foot. Right? I need to get on that arc. Refuge is refuge only. Let me look at the definition of refuge. I have a positive, like, feeling about it, a condition of being safe or sheltered. Okay, from danger or trouble. Okay. So I did, I haven't really been thinking of refuge only in terms of danger or trouble, but also in terms of just support. I'm looking at, it says, a condition of being safe or sheltered from pursuit, danger, or trouble. Okay. All right. So the ark, the refuge is about that. But I think it's also just about transportation. I want to be transported to the new. The now, right? And the new. So that's what I've been thinking about. Gail's Glam Designs. Hi, Gail. Is everyone joining the prayer for positivity on the eclipse? Do we know? I don't know what that is. I know that the eclipse is happening on the 8th, and that's all I know. Is that a thing that we're supposed to be doing? Tell us what to do. (laughs) Somebody got to tell me what to do, okay? I don't know. (laughs) You got to tell me what I'm supposed to be doing. Jazzy D, do you think your desire for a yacht is part of the manifestation? I think that you're talking about this this as a part, as a, how does this experience play into my desire for a yacht in, in my life? Is that, is that what you're asking me? Yeah. Um, 
I, when she said she wanted to do it, I said yes, because listen, I need to experience significant time on a yacht. <laughs> How do I know if I like it? <laughs> I've been on a three-day Royal Caribbean cruise, right? And my dad has had boats. My dad, we're from Delaware. And people have boats. My dad has had boats. I've never been out on the water for days and days. How do I even know if I like it? Let me get on this. Let me, yes, I'm booking this trip, okay? How do I know if me and Connie Perry even really want a yacht until we get on a yacht? There's some, there's some of that in there. Um, but I think it's more, I think for me, it was this saying yes to this trip was more about living the life I want today instead of putting it off. Because we could have just been like, oh, someday. <laughs> one day but this was more about I want mine now I don't want to keep living for some I'm not good at living for someday oh, that's not me but I don't want to live for someday I want mine now right things aren't going to be the same forever the five people who are here you know opportunity t time is moving for all of us and I don't want to be like, oh, I wish I wish I had, <laughs> right? Which is why I always try to tell my dad, you have to come with us. I tried my hardest to get him to Bermuda. I knew he wouldn't do this, but I tried my hardest to get him to Bermuda. I'm like, you got to come with us because one day I'm going to be like, I wish my dad could have seen this, <laughs> right? <laughs> Rascal. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think this is about experiencing the things that you want in the future, experiencing them now, right? I know the things that I want in my future and I want to experience some of that now um, for a few different reasons. One, just to see if you really want it, right? Do I really even like it? But also you got to get that feeling in there. I'm not a super woo-woo person in terms of like the way that I can communicate things. I think I'm just as woo woo as the next person as you know other people I'm you know but I'm not the best at communicating those things but what I can what I do know how to say is that I want to feel the feelings now so that I can draw more of those feelings to me right if you want love in your life you need to feel love now so that you can call in more love if you want a yacht in your life, I think you need to feel yachty now. Feel, uh, be on the water right now, right? Feel the water. Be on the water now so you can call those things into your life. If you want money, right? If it's as simple as you want money, I think you need to feel that way now so that you can call, draw in more of that. There is a, there is a, the, the ways that we feel and the words that we say, they are there is power in those things, okay? I'm not the best at explaining this. I'm not that. That's not my specialty. But I'll tell you what I think. And I think that we, the way that we feel and the words that we say are impactful. So what we want, we need to feel it and we need to say it. If you're not in a position where you can feel it now or say it now, how are you going to get it later? So I'll be feeling it and I'll be saying it. <laughs> I'll be feeling it. I'll be saying it so I can get more of it. Let's see. Is anybody in the chat explaining this any bigger, any better? Yeah. Hi, Cheryl. Building your art. Yeah, that's Octavia. I'm not taking credit for it. This is Octavia, right? That's Octavia Rahim. That's right. Yeah. Estella speaks as I love that attitude. Yeah. I don't, I don't know. I can't think of anything good in my life that has come without me doing, I don't mean working for it. I mean being in tune with it. Right. Like I said, I'm not, this is not my specialty. It's communicating these things is not my specialty. I think about them, but I don't have a good way to communicate them. There are more woo-woo chicks out there who can say this in a better way. But all I can say is you have to feel it. And sometimes to feel it, you have to do it, 
right? Sometimes to feel it, you don't have to do it. But sometimes to feel things, you got to do the thing to feel the thing. And then you got to feel the thing to draw in the thing. Imagine me saying, I want to live on a yacht and me never, ever spending any time on the water or in a boat or looking at yachts or any of that. Imagine me saying I wanted a loving partnership, a loving relationship, but never, ever being a loving person. Imagine me saying I want abundance in my life but never operating out of abundance, always treating things as if they are in lack. So I think we got to feel it and we got to say it. So I like to pre-feel the things, (laughs) pre-feel the feelings. I, I view an arc as a path. Hi, Simone Danielle 17. That's how I view, I interpreted that. Not just protection, but also transportation. Transport me. Right? I want, I need, I'm building my arc to transport me. I'm all, we're always a new person and I'm all, always becoming a new person. I need to be transported to that new person. That means I need a lot of things. I need the physical house. I need the relationships in the community. I need the internal, like, strength, love, desire, all of that. Uh, so the, the arc is those things for me. It's, the tra- it's to transport me, my arc, which is my home and my community and my relationships and my relationship with myself and all of that. That arc, I also view it as a path, as transportation, protection and transportation. Okay, Michonne, Lady Judah says meditation and prayer. We're still talking about the eclipse. What is today's date? How close are we? Pardon me while I look at a calendar. Today's the sixth. Okay. Oh, so and it's on the eighth, right? Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to. We don't want to keep adding to regrets. Everybody's got regrets. Everybody has regrets, but we don't want to keep adding to it. We don't want to keep adding it, adding to it. Okay. Anything else? I'm just looking. Looking in the chat. Yeah, energy. That is the way that the girls would describe it, right? <laughs> your feelings have energy, have an energy. And your words have an energy. Your words have power. I Let me tell you a thing that I said years ago that came true. I tell you all the time about the story of me saying it out loud when I was driving one time, I need help. And as soon as I look up, my parents are in the car in front of me. In Philadelphia, my parents live in Dover, Delaware. I'm driving to the Philadelphia airport and I think they are in church. And I say out loud, I need help. And my parents, I look up and my dad's license plate is right in front of me. I laid on that horn and because they didn't see me either. They didn't see, that was, they knew that car. They didn't see me. I didn't see them until I said the words, I need help. I laid on that horn. We pulled over on the side of the highway so they could hug me because I was starting to feel a little panicky about flying. I was starting to have a little panic attack before a flight. Um, but the a story I don't tell is one time I was at work and a man made a joke about me. Sh- I should be eating healthy so I can lose weight. And I said, I'm, I'm not looking to lose weight. In fact, let me put on 30, 40 more pounds. And I actually put on 30 or 40 more pounds. <laughs> I'm like, look, I was just joking. I didn't really mean I wanted to put on 30, 40 more pounds, <laughs> but I'm never going to forget that. I need to be very careful with the things that I say, because I think I can make some things happen. I literally, I did gain 30, 40 more pounds without thinking about it, without wanting to, without planning to it. But I remember that day. I remember talking to that pharmacist. I don't remember his name because this was at the hospital that I only went to work to work at for a few weeks. Um, the last real job I've had. Uh, yeah, I, I'm like, man, why did I say that? <laughs> 
Now my clothes don't fit. <laughs> now my clothes don't fit. Yes. Yes. Hi, equanimity. Yes. What we think and believe manifests in our lives. Yeah. So I think that this, this, the secret, not, not the secret secret, but the secret, the, the key thing that we sometimes miss is that you have to feel the way that you want. I think Brown and Bendy had a video. I think she's the one who first really like said the words that made me make, made it make sense to me. When you, when there's something that you want to manifest, do some visioning and feel how you'll feel when you have that thing. Feel how you'll feel when you have that thing. That is the vibration. That is the energy we want to be on. Okay. So that's what I, when I say I, I want to feel it and I want to say it, that's what I mean. And I've created a place here in this community where we can say the things that we want without people being like, that's stupid. <laughs> that's wasteful. That's wrong. Right. We can say the things that we want for ourselves, for our lives or for each other. Right. I've, we've created a place here where we can say that out loud. Uh, and but you also need to create a place where you, or time in your life when you can feel it. I'm all in on free time. I'm all in on free time. I don't mean time when you are reading and writing and whatever. I mean literal free time when you're doing nothing. When you get to feel feelings <laughs> and listen to your head, right? Listen to what's going on in your mind. Feel your feelings and reprogram those feelings. I'm all in on it. Octavia talked about, talked about that too, how feeling your feelings is such a privilege, right? A lot of people don't get to feel their feelings. Got to move on, right? But feeling your feelings and then uh, it, having time in your life to feel your feelings is a privilege. Glamazzini, you are intentionally creating it. You are aligned with the life you want. Yeah, La alignment is another word that I should have used, right? Yes, right? Align, yes, Roshni knows this. Uh, Roshni is a better teacher at these things than me, right? Ro yes, alignment, right? Get on the trail. <laughs> if the arc is a path, like get on the path, get on the trail. Get yourself on there and then let flow pull you to what you want. Right. Get on the path. Get on the trail. Get aligned. Right. How can I say I want a yacht when I'm not on the yacht path? And I don't mean I got to work, do whatever, do whatever, whatever. To I mean, I need to be on the water sometimes. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Maybe I need to make some friends with some people who like boats. <laughs> that alignment. Uh, necessary. Infinite eight flow. Hi, Stephanie, you're doing a great job. Thank you. <laughs> Pronounce the frequency in the now. Okay. Is that what, when I say, say it, say what you want. What you would say is pronounce the frequency in the now. Get that f f vibration vibrating. Get that energy vibrating. Get it vibrating. Uh, okay. Hi, Nubianette. Nubianette says she's been checking out the vessel online. <laughs> yes. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. The Rosewood Hotel that we stayed in, I was like, I'm a, I want my bedroom to look like this, right? Wherever I land in Costa Rica, I want my bedroom to look like this. Um, and then, you know, walking around here, I'm like, I like this about this, right? <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful yacht. It's gorgeous. Uh, yeah, I'm enjoying it. It's, I think it's good to see, good to get yourself in spaces, right? Good to get yourself in spaces. I can vision, I can envision things pretty well. I think I'm, I'm good at vision, visioning. Uh, but sometimes you just actually want to physically be in those spaces. Yeah, it's beautiful. Words carry, hi, LaShonda Washington, words carry energy whether we realize it or not. So does action. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I've had a few examples. And, I, and like I said, I've, lately, most of the conversations that I've had with women, 
over the last maybe month or so now have included some sort of thing that they said out loud and then it became right i talked to a woman on instagram oh we went i went live on her instagram channel she's black girl travels uk black i said i say it differently every time i think she's black girl travels uk or black girl black woman travels uk something like that and she, in no time she manifests so first she said she wanted to be able to work full time in her business don't you know her job laid her off which was a good thing that's a good thing right a thing that she wanted happened then she was like i wanted to talk she said i don't know if she said she wanted to talk to me or if she wanted to talk to someone about something and as, right as soon as i said that i put as soon as she has said it in the world i put out a thing on instagram was like i have some free time anybody want to go live with me on their instagram right like I've never done that before. I've never done that before. And I haven't done it since yet. Right. I've never been like, hey, y'all, I have some free time. Anybody want to go live on their Instagram? I'll join you. I've never done that before. She said she had just said out loud. I need to talk. I don't know if she said she wanted to talk to me or if she said she wanted to talk to somebody about something. We talked about and we talked about her making the decision on whether she was going to do her layoff. Right. Or, or you know, take lean into it. As a, as a career break or sabbatical or go find something else or whatever. Uh, and she's from the UK, so they call it redundancy. We talked about her redundancy and we talked about, you know, travel and business stuff for a few minutes. But she said, I, have ju I just said I needed that, right? Uh, there are a handful of experiences that I had back to back where women said that. I don't know if I'm not, <laughs> if I'm not being clear enough about what I want or what. <laughs> I need a more recent example, please. Because <laughs> the last time I remember that happening was a few years ago. I need some more recency. I need to get myself together. Let me get my arc together. Because, okay, Jocelyn said I'm making purpose, perfect sense. You get me. Okay, I'm glad. I'm glad. There are people who teach this better than I do. Okay? Uh, but that's what I know. Right? That's what I know. Empowered to shine with Coach Latina. Hey, Coach Latina, our words have power and so do our feelings. When you combine your thoughts with your feelings, there is a manifestation. In scripture, we see this with Esau and his father. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, what do I know? I know. Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door is open. For everyone who asks, receives. Everyone who asks, receives. That's what I know. And also, you know, write the vision. Make it plain. Though it tarries, wait for it. It will surely come. That's what I know. I think even more, let's see, what, what is more, more, more closely related? I guess, be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Right. By the renewing of your mind, the change happens in your mind, which to me is in your thoughts and your feelings and your actions. Right. Before it's out here, it's in here. Don't be conformed. Be transformed. Here. Ramani Edmondson, Edmondson says it's a time where you can manifest your greatest and clean up what you don't want. It's a powerful time. All seven planets are aligned. Thank you. Are in alignment. Thank you. Okay. Let's get some stuff we want. Let's give what we want and get some stuff we want. Okay. Visualize, verbalize, manifest. Thank you, Dina. That's really uh, on point. Thank you. <laughs> Right, we can remember that. If we can't remember other things, we can remember visualize, verbalize, manifest. Hi, Dina St. Amour. Okay. No, I don't think we can see it, but it's still happening, right? It's still a time. I I don't so there's like a they told us they told us something about it. They said we're not gonna be able to see it, see the full eclipse, but you can see something. I don't know. I'm not looking at the sun, first of all. So <laughs> I'm not worried about the eclipse, the seeing the eclipse, but it is, it is a time in the world when things are happening, right? It is a time when there's something that we can do something. 
No, I don't think we're going to see it, see it. Yes. Okay. Also write it down. Also write it down. Thanks for the super chat, The Real Dana. Thank you for that. Okay. CK says, thank you for the inspiration. Okay. Equanimity. We need a clear picture of what we want in our mind. And when this is backed up by strong feeling and beliefs, it will manifest in reality. Clarity is why we need the free time, right? Clarity is why we need the free time. I'm team normalized free time. We need free time and we need clarity. Clarity does. I don't think clarity can come when your jumbled mind is overworked and stressed out and tired focused and focused on other things or not focused on anything and moving from place to place and multitasking free time. Okay. Free time is in the recipe. (laughs) Free time is the first ingredient in the recipe. I think so. Okay. Nubianette says her astrologer said friend says to manifest big for the eclipse. Uh, We know black girl astrology. Ebony is, let me make sure it's black girl astrology. And she should be making B-L-A-C-K-G-I-R-L-A-S-T-R. O-L-O-G. Mm-mm, that's not it. It's going to take me a second. Oh, if I type it in YouTube, it should come up because I've seen, I watch her YouTube. I'm typing it on Instagram and it's not coming up. Homegirl astrology. As soon as I put my fingers on the keyboard, homegirl astrology. So Ebony should have some videos for us if you're interested. I'm going to link to Ebony's channel right now. She's a member of this community. She's part of Exodus Summit. She's in my coaching program. All of that. Okay, so Ebony is homegirl astrology. So if you're interested, check her out. Let's see what she's got. Does she have an eclipse video up yet? Not yet. Okay. But I know she will. All right. Okay. See, AD. AD says, thanks. I'd be relocating from Phoenix. Afraid if I can afford relocation. So many other things. I think I missed the beginning. Here's the beginning. I've stated several times over the past year that I wanted to relocate to Houston. My job presented me with an offer to work in Houston, Texas. Now I'm afraid to go. The reasons that you ask, are those reasons greater than the fear? Can they become greater than the fear, right? Fear is fine. It's okay to be afraid to go and still go. Oh, because of the money. Write it down. How much money? Like, seriously, do you even know how much money? If you don't yet know how much money and what it's going to cost you, then you're just, it's not really a fear, (laughs) right? Fear is specific. You're just making up stuff, right? You're just making up a thing. Now, if you write down that number and you look at that number and you're like, I don't know where this number is going to come from, okay, then that might be a thing you need to take some action on. But if it's really just, I don't even know how much it's going to cost me, then listen, you're just making up a thing to be stressed out about for nothing. You're poisoning yourself with stress hormones, without even doing a a little bit of work. So figure out for real, figure out what the money is going to, what the money is. And if you can't see where that money is going to come from, then you need to do something else, right? Take some different action. I don't mean then you need to not move. I just mean, then you need to take some action to, to, to find that money, right? Make the money, manifest the money. I don't care. (laughs) Steal the money. I don't care. But until you even know what the number is, there's no need to be stressed out about it right? You're just making up a thing to be stressed out about. But I think if you've asked for something and that something has appeared to you, you're going to, well, you may very well regret not taking that opportunity, right? I'm right here like, 
Where, how come everybody's everybody manifesting stuff for me? Where's mine? <laughs> Where's my four bedroom um, house in Costa Rica with a separate Airbnb quarter or or guest quarter? Right? <laughs> Where's mine? <laughs> Meanwhile, the the site blocked me. The site that I've been using to look at properties in Costa Rica blocked me because I couldn't use it from South Africa or Mauritius. All right, so they blocked me. They're like uh, forbidden, forbidden. <laughs> Even when I turn on my VPN, I'm like, everybody manifesting stuff. Where's mine? <laughs> it's all coming. It's all coming. It's all coming to fruition. Okay, friends. All right. Thank you for sharing your spring break experiences with us. Uh, those of you who are still have yet to take your spring break, do it. I hope you do it. I hope you'll take a day or a weekend or a week or a month uh, and just rest, just enjoy, just chill. Uh, I hope you get to do that. And then we'll move on to the next season and the next season because spring break is not the only break we take. Okay. All right, and people, women in the chat are giving you advice on where in Houston you might want to be, might be more financially uh, affordable. So Victorious VKG, thank you for that. She said she lived in Houston's inner, look at 610 and Bel Air, inner loop. I lived in Houston's inner loop, 610 and Bel Air, and loved it. Thank you for that, okay? Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks, Koshan. Thank you for hanging out with me. I, I did a live stream the other day when we set sail from Bermuda. And I think I'll do another just water live stream at some point this week. And so it's something that you can just listen to. If you, somebody wants to spend some time just listening to like 30 minutes of the ocean, uh, I think I'll set my phone out and do that one day this week as well to get you, you know, 30 minutes of ocean sounds or so, 30 minutes, maybe an hour, whatever. I'll probably be sleeping, but <laughs> I'll probably be taking a nap. But well, I'll do that uh, to keep to have that on my channel as a thing that you can come back to and listen to when you feel like it. Um, yeah. And then I hopefully will meet, make, make it up there for a sunrise or sunset while I'm on the boat as well so that we can have these videos on the channel for us to watch again and again and again, just like I read Octavia Rahim again and again and again and all these other things, right? We'll add that to our repertoire. Add that to our self-care, wellness, free time activities. Okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. And yeah, and also on Instagram, I'll show you a little more of the boat. I'll show you a little bit more of the yacht over on Instagram. I don't know that I'm going to do a formal video. Rashida probably will because she's better at this, that stuff. She's more into editing videos. You know, I don't like to edit videos, okay? So Rashida will probably show you her experience on the Ritz-Carlton Evrima. And she will probably, she is youtube.com slash Rashida. At slash at Rashida. You will probably get to see more of the boat <laughs> with her than with me, but maybe not. I don't know why I didn't type that right. I'll type it. I'll put it in the description. YouTube.com slash at Rashida. Okay. This should be a clickable link. Earthly Color Brown says in Houston, go to Pearland. Okay. Is that a, that's, assume that's a neighborhood. Okay. All right. I hope that you do find where you want to be. And I hope that it is a thing that you love. If you asked for it and it's, it's here, it's manifested itself. I hope that you're able to take up that opportunity. I hope you are. I hope so. So check out the chat. Okay, Michonne, another person says Pearland, near Pearland. Okay. All right. Yeah, let the women in this community give you uh, some advice, some help. Okay. Okay, I'll do a 30 minutes of ocean sounds. I'll do it 
sometime during the week. Okay? Okay. Yes, this is Black Girls Travel UK. How are things? I hope things are going well. Yeah. Black Girls Travel UK. I think I got the words. I had all the words in there, but I had them mixed up. Yes. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. Get at least a, get a couple of videos that that we can use over and over again. Because this, let me tell you, rock this 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 ship rocked me to sleep last night. For some reason, I was I had my computer in the bed with me again, which I'm supposed to be not doing. And something for some reason, I had my computer up, but man. I couldn't, whatever I was trying to do, whatever a little bit of work I was trying to do, I was like, forget it. <laughs> the ocean wants me to sleep. <laughs> forget it. So between the sounds of the water we will, and the, the sound and the, the rocking, it's been really, really amazing, really good. So I'll get some sounds out for you, some more ocean sounds, some more ocean views up on the Insta, up on the thing. I'm letting y'all communicate. I see y'all, I'm stalling to make sure that you get your advice in for her. And Earthly Color Brown is on Instagram. I see you guys talking to each other and getting connecting. So I'm stalling so that you can have a chance to connect because as soon as I hit the button, it's going to be over. Another vote for Pearland. Okay. All right. Okay. Y'all, okay. So are we good? Okay. Okay, I think we're good. I see you in the chat and you said you're on Instagram. Okay, I think we're good. All right, I'm going to hit the hit the end button. Hopefully you guys have been able to do what you needed to do. Give each other the information that you need to give. Thank you as always for being so wonderful to each other in this chat, in this community. Thank you for being a community, first of all. <laughs> and thank you for being such an amazing, awesome, and wonderful community. Um, thank you for being so good to me. To my guests who are on the channel today, thank you to my guests who popped by to say hi. Uh, but please remember to also give yourself the same care, the same grace, the same support that you give to others, right? You should be the first. You should get the most, okay? So thank you for that. Do that. Enjoy your weekend. I think Rashida will probably be live on her channel tomorrow. And like I said, she's better at showing things. <laughs> so you may get to see some of the yacht tomorrow. I don't know what, I don't know for sure she's going live and I don't know for sure what she's going to talk about, but that may be possible. Uh, so make sure that you're subscribed to her channel. She's at Rashida on, on YouTube. Make sure you're subscribed to her channel so you can see more. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Jazzy D. Jazzy says, thank you for being a con connector. Thank you. I appreciate that. Thank you for letting me connect you. <laughs> okay. Have a wonderful day. Yes. One last thing. Hit the like button before you go. If you think there's another black woman who would love to get in on this conversation, hit the like button. So YouTube will know you liked it. And so YouTube will try to recommend it to more people. Okay. Have a great weekend. Happy April. Let's manifest the things that we want in our lives, whatever way you know how to do it. Okay. All right. Because we deserve. We deserve. We deserve. Okay. Have a wonderful day, friends. Bye.